Hey, what's going on? My name is Juan. Uh, welcome back to the series on Gravity Forms creating an add-on. All right, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, one thing that I just did is I created a hidden field within our form, and this is going to contain our score. So after that, let's go ahead and just jump back into it. So what we want to do now is we can start hooking into Gravity Forms. So what I want to do is I want to add a filter, and this filter I want to hook into is going to be the G form pre-submission. Now, if we leave it like this, we will target every form submission. But if we target the uh, specific ID, which is in our case two, we will only target that form. So only the only the form of the ID of two will be affected. We want to hit a method in this class, which is going to be this, and we want to save score. All right, so let's go ahead and create that method. Method save score and we want to pass in the form object let's go ahead and create a score property so protected score and down here we will start to work on that um, we'll just go ahead and grab the score and we'll set it to zero so anytime we want to save the score we make sure that we are at zero so the save score is hooked into the pre-submission hook which fires before it actually saves so um, if we go ahead and die down here we can run a few tests and not actually um, save. So we are going to simply var dump the super global post and see what we're trying to save to the database. So if we fill this out, just go ahead and answer 555 and submit. You can see we are trying to pass through the inputs. That's the only thing we really need to worry about right now. So if you notice, all our answers are input one, two, three, four, and five. Input six is actually going to be the hidden field, which we need to pass the score through. So we need to add all these together and pass it to input six. One way to do that is going to be if we run a for each loop and we target that super global as key value. So we want to iterate over the array and target only keys that begin with input so we can do that with this little bit of code we look for input underscore and now if that equals the substring the key zero six right so we have six characters here and we are going to pass in the key so the key is going to be input one so if it, it so the first iteration is going to go through input one. Does that key for six characters include input underscore? If it does, then great. We will start to add, and we grab the score plus equals the value. So every time this iterates and it does match, it's going to add that score to the scores property. So now we can go ahead and var dump this score. Refresh, and we got 25. So the last thing we need to do is we want to, so we want to target post and the input six. And we want to go ahead and save that score down. So when we submit this, when I refresh this time, it's actually going to save the form into um, our database. So if I hit refresh, continue. Was we'll submitted. Thank you. And let's go ahead and look at the entries. And you can see here, the score is 25 and the answers are here. Okay, so good. So next thing we wanna do is when we do save, we don't wanna see a contact us. We wanna actually see a bar with our score. One thing I wanna do is show the average test score. So basically we're gonna grab all the um, previously submitted scores and then average them out and show them the average and then just below we'll show them their score so what they scored um so in order to this we gotta add a few more lines of code um we're still working within this save score um so what we could do is we'll go ahead and create a total variable we'll just zero that out and we can target all of the entries by using the gf api class and we can get entries and if we pass it the ID of the form, which will be two, we will get all of the entries for that form. Here, ID of two, 
every single entry we will grab using this. Since we have the entries variable, let's uh, var dump that. And then we can die. So go here, hit refresh, resubmit the form. We're not saving it, we're resubmitting it. And we'll see that six is actually holding the score, right? So if we have 100 um, items in this array, we need to target the index of six in order to get the score. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We'll run for each loop. And this will be entry for each entry as entry. We're going to grab the total and we're going to add together all of these scores, right? So again, entry six is going to be appended to total. And at the end, we can borrow them total. And as of right now, it will only be 25 because we only have a single item. But for every other item, we'll add to that, right? Okay. So that's going to be, let's go ahead and create another property up top. We'll call this the average score. And how do we get the average? We grab the total and then we divide it by the number of entries. Okay, so just to go over what we're doing here, we're creating a variable total, setting it to zero. We are grabbing all the entries within the form, um, the form with ID of two. We are iterating over every entry. We're grabbing the score for that entry and we're grabbing that total. And then we are going to count our entries and divide the total by the number of entries we have, which will give us our average. And that will give us an average. And we are storing that within a property called average score, All right? So simple enough. Let's go ahead and add another filter. And this is going to be G form confirmation. And again, we're going to, instead of save score, we're going to show score. And let's create that method here. And we need to pass in the confirmation and we'll go ahead and return confirmation. Confirmation we want is your score is, and then we'll target the score. And then we'll go ahead and concatenate the average score is, and we will target the average score property. Simple enough. Let's see if this works. You submit the form. Okay, we got your score is 25, the average score is 25, which um, is correct, right? So we will just append break tag, just to get two lines of code, submit it again, 25, 25, and that should be three entries, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's take this test one more time. Let's score low. Submit that, and now our score is five, the average score is 25. Submit it again, average should drop is 20, score is five. Now we are saving scores and we are averaging them out and displaying them as a confirmation. So the last step is going to be displaying them as a progress bar. Um, there's not much left to do, but we will do that in the very next episode. Thanks for watching.